First though, the steps to fix Florida's crumbling property insurance market revealed. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. State lawmakers will meet in Tallahassee next week for a special session dedicated to the crisis. News 6's Catherine Silver is live in the newsroom with a look at the solutions that are on the table. Catherine? There are 11 bullet points listed on a proclamation that went out today from the Senate President and Speaker of the House. It is the clearest picture we have so far of what will be addressed. A proclamation issued ahead of next week's special session outlines what steps could be taken to fix Florida's property insurance crisis. Problems like the availability of reinsurance, ways the assignment of benefits is being used, and the rising cost of litigation. By my rough calculation, plaintiff attorneys are making $100 million a month in fees suing companies like mine. It's a topic Locke Burt, chairman and CEO of Security First Insurance, knows well. He spoke about the solutions needed to fix the market at an annual insurance summit in Orlando Tuesday. Florida's insurance commissioner, who was also in attendance, brought up the need to improve the financial stability of Citizens Property Insurance Corporation. One of the challenges with citizens is that when we hit a hard market cycle like right now, it doesn't take long for citizens' rates to become wildly non-competitive with the private market rates. The company is state-backed and now has more than one million policies in Florida. Florida domestic companies are bleeding and they're losing money. And the reality is they cannot afford to write additional business. Industry experts say the problems persisted before hurricanes Ian and Nicole made things worse. This property insurance crisis has been brewing for Years. Democratic lawmakers criticized the timing while laying out their own suggestions at a virtual press conference Tuesday afternoon. Rather than fighting culture wars during the last term, we could have been focused on this all along. So it does feel like they've let it just uh, get to the point of crisis for homeowners. The upcoming special session first announced by Governor Ron DeSantis follows another session back in May. I did reach out to his office. They sent a statement saying he expects the legislature to rein in the cost of excessive litigation and ensure the property insurance market is both attractive to insurers and more competitive for consumers. I'm live in the newsroom. Catherine Silver getting results. News 6.